Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I have Pinot Gris here. Uh, Pinot Gris from uh, maybe not the place that you would associate most readily with the grape variety. Uh, this is from uh, England. Uh, so yes, it's Denby's Pinot Gris 2014 Vineyard Select. And uh, what have we got? Blurb. 12.5% alcohol. Uh, fermented in two to five year old French oak barriques. Uh, let's give it a whirl and see where we get to. Ha, it's funny when I smell that. There's some characteristics here which I associate with English wine. That slightly smoky elderflower character. But then there's this um, spice as well. Uh, and I know that some of the, the grapes like Schoenberger have, uh, have got that little bit of spiciness to them. Uh, and that floral edge. But here it's, um, it's not quite as uh, Germanic. It feels more Central European than that. Does that make sense? I better taste it and, uh, before I uh, dig myself into a deeper hole. Yes, it's funny, there's a, a characteristic there that reminds me of um, um, teenage bodybuilders. Oh, come on, I'll, I'll come straight out with it. What do I mean by that? Well, uh, sometimes you see these people who are about like 15 or 16 and they've tried to bulk up to get the physique that uh, uh, will only come really with time and, and, and until they get a bit older. So they've either over-exercised or they've, uh, they've, they've had uh, too many supplements and they've... Uh, uh, but at the heart there is a small framework and they've tried to flesh it out. Here it feels like uh, there is a wine that wants to be quite light and delicate and uh, the winemaker has tried to make something that's a little bit bigger uh, than the raw material wanted it to be. It's okay, uh, I would definitely finish a glass but um, it's not... It's not going to challenge the best of Alsace. Um, uh, it, uh, and for, it's weird for a Pinot Grigio drinker, someone who wants something like a little, little bit uh, uh, lighter uh, and fresher, there's probably a little bit too much of this slightly spicy ginger, as I was saying about that elderflower flavour coming through. Uh, so it's interesting and, it, I mean, for English Pinot Gris, how many English Pinot Gris were there 15 years ago? Hardly any, if, if any at all. Uh, and so, yes, I, I, I think it's, it's a good step, but uh, I don't think they've quite got there yet. See you soon.